Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today I've got a really good video uh, to show you guys. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for quite some time now, but obviously I've never got around to doing it. It's currently Tuesday, is it? Um, where is it? Wednesday. So it's Wednesday at the moment. Um, so I've already teased this on the channel in the community tab, so if you guys have probably already seen it, then you know what's coming. Um, but we're going to be installing these. These are floating hubcaps, centre caps, uh, for the the alloys for the mini as you can see they float so this is sort of like you know like you get on the rolls royce um where the rolls royce is always sort of upright it's the same here with the mini sort of logo now you've got two options with these you can either go for the uh, mini ones as i've got here which is your play mini logo or you can go with the jcw ones as well now there's obviously a big divide at the moment with people um you know and thoughts about putting jcw stuff on a non-jcw which is fair enough you know i understand what have you so to save arguments to save that sort of stuff i thought i'd just go with the plain mini ones because all i've got is a mini cooper s so yes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull the car around excuse the stay at the car uh, i went away the weekend so it's filthy i'm not cleaning it just yet there's some scratches on the wheels so just bear that in mind i'm aware of them um so i'm going to pull the car around we're going to get the camera set up and we're going to get installing these i don't actually know how i can take them off the current ones so i'm going to sort of come up with a way i can do it i haven't got a suction cup or anything so i'm going to try and find something that i can use potentially a screwdriver wrapped in tape i don't know we'll see um yeah so i'm going to pull the car around we'll get set up and i'll show you how to install them right then so these are the hubcaps. This is how they come uh, in the box. Again, you can get the uh, JCW ones if you want. There isn't anything underneath. But the way these work, it's actually quite, well, well, it's quite, it's, it's cool, but, you know, it's very simple. So you've got the the faceplate there, as you can see, which, which, yeah, spins around very freely moving actually which is really nice so it shouldn't get stuck if it does get stuck in any position like if you get grit there i'm sure you can use a bit of wd-40 um but yeah they're they're great look at them um so all they are it's like a little counterweight on the back so there's a, a shaft sort of thing that runs through the middle um which is uh, attached to a counterweight and yeah the counterweight obviously being heavy sits at the bottom um so yeah it's always at the bottom. Um, yeah, so these just clip in the place of the old ones. I'm not too sure if the JCW ones are bigger than these in diameter. I know these are 112 mil. So I know these are 112 mil uh, in diameter. So yeah, I know these will fit, but I'm not sure if the JCW ones are bigger or not. But um, yeah, how cool are they? Again, yeah, just a counterweight on the back. Uh, I'm sure you could if you wanted to get some WD-14 there, but potentially some three in one if they do get stuck. But obviously with them being new, I don't think I'll need to. So I'm going to pull the camera out. I'm going to pull the car around. Uh, we're going to get to installing these. Right then. So need to get that off. I've got um, a flat-headed screwdriver here wrapped in some tape. I'm going to get these wheels refurbished at some point. You know, they're not, not the best looking, but... Um, so I'm going to get a flathead in here. There we go. And we'll pull them out. So these are the standard ones. As you can see, there's no well counterweight on these. They don't spin or anything. Just your standard mini ones. So we're going to get our new counter counterweighted one. We're just going to slot these in, like so. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, so it does, when the counterweight is at the bottom, obviously it will, you know, we're at 90 degrees, it will drop back down, potentially at 45. But when you get to 180 degrees out, you know, you might find that it'll, yeah, so if, if, you do catch them at 180 degrees out or something like that you know uh when you move forward in the car you'll probably find it'll just knock itself down you know they're not designed to be spin you know they're not they're not designed to be spun by hand um so more often than not they'll always counterbalance themselves you know facing the, the right way around so we're just going to get the back one done and then the other side and then we're good to go such a simple concept 
you know, uh, really, really, really nice. I'll get the wheels clean as well, I think. Um, I've got some caps here as well, as you can see. I didn't like the metal ones underneath, so I just put some caps, uh, some covers on there. They're like five quid off of eBay. Um, and you get a set of 16 or something like that to do all four. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to pull the camera to the back and we'll do the back as well. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a close up on this one. So we're going to get the screwdriver in here. Again, I am going to have these wheels refurbished, so I'm not overly concerned. There's no marks anyway, so. We're going to get our newer uh, counterbalanced one as well. I'm going to clip this in. There we go. And there we go, it'll counterbalance itself. As you can see, how cool is that? I'm going to quickly do the other side as well. Okay. okay. We're going to go in, pull that out. So simple to do. Cool. Oh, we're going to do the last one on the back as well. Look at that. So yeah, there we go. As you can see now, whatever the weather, you know, whatever the angle sort of thing, um, they'll always be upright, which is cool. Um, let me set the camera up. I'll roll the, camera, the car back and forwards. So there you go, you get the gist of it. Look at the state of them. I do need to give the car a clean. Like I said, I was away at the weekend. The weather's not been too good. I mean, it's sort of starting to get a bit sunny now, which is nice. So yeah, there we go. All good to go. Okay then, so I have cleaned the wheels, as you can see. I've got a few scuff marks, but like I said earlier, I'm gonna get these um, redone at some point. Look at that how cool that looks and since I've cleaned it I did put the hose on that and it just seems to be swinging a lot freely now you know it's not it's not getting stuck at the top anymore so yeah they're great so what I'll do um hope you guys like them um well I do anyway what I'll do is I'll drop a link in the description where you can get them uh, they are actually on eBay so if you just go on eBay and search for mini f56 floating hubcaps you know you get them all on there there are sort of different ranges of prices you know they're all the sort of the same build well they're all the same build quality they're all mini official products oem products i picked mine up for i think it's about 40 pounds so you know they do range from 40 50 60 you know i've even seen them go for about 70 pounds so if you do your looking you know you'll be able to pick them up at a, a decent price that door's shutting So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. They're fantastic. Really, really good. Really worth the money as well, I reckon. So, only time will tell. You know, see how durable they are. Um, they are an OEM product, so I'd imagine that they'll be quite sort of uh, long-lasting. Um, I'm not sure how often we'll have to oil them. If we will need to, I don't know. So, but guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos in the future, hit subscribe. Follow by the notification bell. We'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I shall see you all in the next video.